Good morning, Grenada. We are waking you up to bring you another live update on Hurricane Beryl from the Emergency Operations Center here at NADMA headquarters. Uh, remember, we are still in a state of emergency, so you need to continue to follow all protocols that have been established. We want to take you over to Cassie Johnson, our forecaster at the Met Office, to give you an update on Hurricane Beryl. Cassie. Good morning to you. As of 2 a.m., Hurricane Beryl has weakened slightly from a Category 4 hurricane to a Category 3 hurricane. At 5 a.m., the location of the center of Beryl was at 11.7 degrees north, 59.9 degrees west. This is just about 125 miles east-southeast of Grenada. Maximum sustained winds is 120 miles per hour, which makes it a Category 3 hurricane, and it is currently moving towards the west at 20 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure at this time is 965 millibars. As I said, Beryl has weakened slightly to a Category 3 hurricane at 2 a.m., however, Strengthening is expected as the hurricane is expected to fluctuate between Category 3 and Category 4 as it passes the Tri-Island State. Current conditions associated with Beryl that we had overnight, the leading band of convection has already begun affecting the state of Grenada. You may have heard thunder and seen lightning and experienced rainfall and some gusty winds overnight. The forecasted track of Beryl is expected to take its eye between Grenada and Karakou, so it is closer to home than expected previously. We are still under hurricane warning for Grenada, which means that hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within 36 hours. We are still expecting some strong winds and rainfall with this hurricane as it crosses between Grenada and Caracol. The most intense conditions for this hurricane is expected between 8 a.m. today and 8 p.m., so please be cautious. Maximum gust experienced overnight at the Barbados Met Service was 52 miles, sorry, 52 knots, and the rainfall at our Grenada Met Office at Point Celine over the past six hours was 6.0 millimeters. Beryl is behaving quite strangely and we are closely monitoring it and awaiting updates from the National Hurricane Center to give you uh, feedback on if it is strengthening or weakening within the next hour or so. Back to you. Thank you, Cassie. And there you have it, folks. Beryl is closer to home than expected, so you still need to exercise caution, right? So it's not a good idea to go outside at this point. We want to take you over to uh, Prime Minister and Minister for National Security and Disaster Management to bring you some updates and to remind you of the emergency uh, powers. Sir. Well, thank you, and pleasant morning to all of the citizens of Grenada. Again, let me thank the team that is with us here at NADMA and who stayed overnight to continue monitoring the hurricane and the impact of the hurricane on Grenada. I want to thank all of the shelter management teams that are in place throughout the length and breadth of Grenada, Carrick, and PT Martinique. I also want to especially commend uh, some of the members of parliament and ministers who actually stayed at the uh, emergency operating centers, uh, particularly uh, MP Tevin Andrews in Carrick, as Ms. Johnson has indicated, the eye of the hurricane is expected to pass close to Karakou and Piti Martinique, which means that our brothers and sisters in Karakou and Piti Martinique are on the front line. Uh, the reports from Karakou and Piti Martinique indicate that they are receiving significant rainfall and uh, wind gusts. Uh, so we ask all of us uh, to pray for them and to keep them in their thoughts. All of the reports uh, throughout Grenada so far overnight indicate that we've had varying degrees of rainfall and varying degrees of wind, uh, but there has not been any reports of any major uh, damage as a result of the weather. And so we are grateful and thankful for that. Uh, so far, it means our prayers are being answered, but the next eight hours are absolutely critical. If ever, it represents perhaps the most dangerous part of uh, this exercise. So I want to re-emphasize to our citizens that the state of emergency remains 
in place. It is for your own safety. As Ms. Johnson has indicated, uh, at 5 a.m., uh, the hurricane was approximately 125 miles off the coast of uh, Grenada. It therefore means that at 20 miles per hour speed, uh, that by 10 a.m., we expect that it may very well be covering all of Grenada, Carico, and Piti Martinique. And so the next eight hours are critical because we expect significant rainfall, we expect significant wind and wind gusts, and we expect uh, significant storm surges. If it does not happen, of course, we will all be thankful and grateful, uh, but we will not know this until the next eight to ten hours. So the state of emergency remains in force, uh, except for permitted uh, persons who are working in the emergency security services and other services that are exempted under the emergency pause regulations. All citizens are expected to remain inside. Uh, the shelters are open and the citizens in the, in, the citizens in the shelters are being looked after. Uh, so far, things have gone well. We only have uh, three or so minor reports, two uh, health-related and one uh, some unruly and threatening behavior, um, which has been dealt with by the police. Uh, blankets and other sleeping materials were provided where needed uh, overnight. We are getting timely updates from the shelter management teams. Uh, the government information service subject to the weather may be visiting some of them to provide further updates to the public. So again, we want to re-emphasize that the next eight to ten hours are absolutely critical. The state of emergency remains in force. We will continue to provide timely updates to the citizens of Kariku, Piti Martinique and Grenada. And we want you to continue being watchful, prayerful and remain prepared. Uh, if there are any damages or loss suffered during the next 8 to 10 hours, uh, NADMA and the various teams will uh, ensure that we do all in our powers to quickly uh, attend to those instances. We will ask our citizens to uh, ensure that they continue to charge their mobile devices and so on in the event the power goes off so that you can continue communicating after that and to report any instances of loss or damage, landslides, uh, storm surges or flooding uh, to NADMA. So again, overnight, no major reports of any loss or damage. Uh, we continue to monitor the storm closely and we will continue to provide you with updates as necessary. Wishing all of us Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. And of course, we will continue to share information as it becomes available and as often as possible. So continue to stay, stay safe. Uh, we are still here live from the oper Emergency Operations Center at the NADMA headquarters. Uh, and we will bring you another update soon. Thank you.